So this is my Alpha GT, uh, and I've just finished a brake upgrade on it. Uh, so I thought I'd give you guys a quick look. Uh, I had the luxury of 17 inch rims, and uh, I'm looking for somewhere around 500 horsepower eventually. So with that in mind, I was looking for a decent brake upgrade. Lots of different things been tried. A lot of things have been done on these cars to fit into racing categories. Um, I really just do hill climbs and personal track days, so this brake upgrade didn't have to meet any of those requirements. My main thing was I wanted a cheap upgrade. Figured you could get something off the shelf done by someone else for around the four grand mark, uh, and I wanted it to come in around a thousand dollars. Um, which it has, and it's a pretty straightforward conversion. So basically what it is, is it's an Alpha 166 Brembo caliper. Uh, I haven't spaced it or anything like that. I've used a 28mm wide rotor. It's a 330 diameter. Uh, it's got an offset that doesn't need any spacers for an Alpha. And uh, it basically just uh, goes straight on. And it's off a 2000-ish model uh, bullet out of the US. It is a 5 stud, 5 by 114.3 so if you want to keep your 4 stud you've got to re-drill which is what I've done um, but it gives me the option of going to 5 by 114 later um, if I want to muck around with rims. Um, pretty much the only other thing that I needed to do was uh, use these brackets which people have made up before and I've borrowed and then um, being able to make it work with my application. I've used ARP studs um, which are off a Honda, I don't remember the part number, um, but they're readily available and they're longer so um, they came in handy because I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of engagement so I went out and got some uh, deep socket studs nuts I should say. So that's that. I gave him a paint, bought some uh, Alfa Romeo decals off of eBay, high temperature, uh, stuck them on and they look good and I'm pretty impressed with the braking power. I don't run a brake booster uh, but of course you could and as yet I haven't touched the rear brakes but I've got a balance bar so I'm able to adjust how much uh, pressure's going front to rear. So that's how I've approached my brake upgrade and um, so far so good. Very happy.